Uh, it's Sunday. And get some more posts in. This one should have been on the other side. I've just had a dig down there and there's no more concrete. I drew it when I marked it like that. Don't know what to do with that. I'm gonna ignore it I think. It's gonna be a toasty day today. Right, should have been here when these holes got dug or when the concrete got poured. But I forget how kin useless some people are at following the simplest instructions. Anyway, I'm gonna have a calmer day today. I was well pissed yesterday. Seriously grumpy. Just got these two posts to go in, that's it. And I can't get them in absolutely spot on. There's gonna be like five or even ten mil difference because of the shape of the bottom of the hole so some are going to have a little bit of bounce in them hopefully that will go away eventually but they are shocking I remember pointing out that I don't need it this flat but this would be alright with a few ridges in it ah, so all the posts are in so this one's on the wrong side but there's no concrete down there for to sit on if I was to move it on the other side it would just flip that concrete up especially here in the doorway where we'll get a lot of foot traffic I should have been here really when this concrete got poured and when the holes got dug I wanted them a foot deep at least so that I could backfill them a bit it's a bit pointless now putting any concrete around it would just be like a donut it won't stick to the old concrete that's below, not very well anyway. But it'd just be like a donut of concrete at the bottom, a bit pointless in doing that. But that's going to get flags and muck behind it at that end. This is getting sleepers along it. Then that end will be flags and muck behind it again. And I might put some blocks between here and the wall. I don't like attaching them to the house. I like to keep it separate. But it won't go very far. That's a cool toy is that each one of these has about 20 nails so I've got about 35 joists here so what's that 700 nails I don't mind them being a little high because when these I've learned that when these get bent over get some more nails in those but when they get bent over they're up a little bit anyway, so all that is sort of sort of at the same level then. Uh, this machine's nice and stubby. These joists are at 400 centers, so uh, that machine's only about three, 370, something like that. But in places like this, it's still a little awkward. But easier than putting it in by hand. Ninety, ninety-nine, ninety-eight percent of them going well, but I've got a little palm, palm nailer that I can get in and hammer them in a bit further if I want to. But yeah, that's so much better than nailing by hand. And some of these will have a bend. I 
camber so when I put them in camber goes up so over time it'll sag down and go straight and these nails are only, only about 30, 38 38 mil long but they really don't want to come out you put it in the wrong place and that's it you destroy the hanger you can't get them out you can't prize them out Shiny pencil is doing quite well. I just had to sharpen it, but that's only because I had it in my pocket and I sat on it. And that was the very first sharpen. And I've done, you know, all that you can see. See, it hasn't gone down much. Like I say, I only sharpened it because I broke it. But Paul, maybe you could put the link on, is it Amazon? The link to where you got these. So the lead's quite hard on these. It feels quite soft when you draw. But it's lasting quite a long time. Shiny, shiny. Just the wrong colour. Uh, all the joists are on up to there. I'll do these tomorrow. We'll just set a few balls on just to see how it goes. Hot now. Time to go on. Right, it's Monday. I had a pain because Chapel Town Carnival's on. I had to go get some more hangers from Screwfix. I'll go get the rest of these joists in. Grass has been cut, which means I've got to move all the wood off the wood that I'm going to use. Don't mind them cleaning up, but sometimes it's a pain in the neck. Oh, I've cleaned up for you. Timber I'm using is down there at the bottom. And here. You see, that's where the where the two timbers joined. Same here. Bolted a piece through. I don't think it'll go anywhere. Got to create a manhole cover here. So a timber down the side, timber down there, and one across. And these timbers are already oversized for that, so I'm not going to double them up. You know, to put that one across. Span divided by 20 plus 20 gives you your depth of your joist. That's a two inch joist. And these are 2560, so they're just about right for this size. I worked that out, that's how I planned it. But these ones, like I say, are oversized, so if that's 2560, it'd be less than two meters, so 100 mil timber plus your 20 mil, so a five inch timber do that. 9.6 inch, so it should be okay. Anyway, tea and a fag first. And I'll get the rest of these joists in. Right, so they're all in now. I stood on that, it's quite solid. Like I say, these joists are oversized for this. I'll have to put another timber down the middle there. That'll be removable with like a panel when I come to put the boards on. Right, I bent all the hangers over, nailed them down. Apparently they don't need access to that manhole cover, only that one. <laughs> yeah. So I've just sat that timber in, a couple of little hangers under it. I'm not going to fix it in, I'm just going to board straight over. Because Sod's Law says they'll need access and then they'll want me to cut it out. So I'm not going to stick nails in behind. I've just screwed that one down. I'm just using this as a distance piece. There's no trim going on here. These are smooth on the other side. I normally put the smooth side out around places like that. 
but not on this. And I could mitre that around there, but it means putting extra timbers in and that's not what I've been asked for. So I'm just using that as a distance piece. I'll mark that. And then this end. I've just been asked to follow the wall. So I'm going to put the treated end against the wall. And it'll, you know, it'll be like that. Be whatever it will be. So once I've cut that, the off cut will start the next row. So like that, put that piece in. That's the off cut. And I'll cut it back to this joint. And this is the door, so I'm going to avoid putting any joints just here, maybe out here, but not where you just step out. Try to anyway. And I'm putting 65 mil deck screws in. We can. Come to back do the joints later, I'll drill them because they tend to split with the gun. Alright, cut a piece for here. And the off cut should finish about here somewhere. Now I'm just getting to the last few boards. So these last couple ones that I've put in, I've just put the odd screw in here and there and be measuring off that front so that I'm running parallel to it. Then I can go around and I'll tweak the gaps, put the rest of the screws in. We've only just got enough boards so I might not have the luxury of putting my joints wherever I want. There might be a few that end up the same there. I'll try and offset them at least by one joist back's killing me. Be glad when this done. Right, that's it. Done. Some of the joints are a little iffy, but I'm blaming the boards. Looks alright. Them sleepers are gonna go on top of some. He's already put some in there and there look. That annoys me. And I was gonna change it but to be honest I can't be asked now. I was going to dig it all out again, but nah. And he really doesn't seem bothered actually, so. Right, that's it. Tidy up, fuck off. <laughs>